I want to take you to a place where Jesus was beginning his ministry, and maybe a little surprising to you is that part of what it took for Jesus to begin his public ministry was to go private. Behind me is the traditional site of the Hill of Temptation. Jesus went from his baptism, led by the Spirit, out into the desert. And this is the most likely place for Jesus to have gone from the baptismal site up into the desert to a high mountain where he was challenged by the devil to turn stones into bread, to throw himself down, for it is written, the devil says, he will command his angels concerning you so that they will, you will not strike your foot against a stone. And then the third one was the devil showed him all the kingdoms of the world, which are in some ways visible from this place. And Jesus said, you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Now Jesus is quoting from Deuteronomy 6 and Deuteronomy 8. And this helps you put into perspective that Jesus' answers are connecting Israel with himself. You see, as Israel was going to cross the Jordan River and they were kind of coming to the Promised Land, they were supposed to learn certain lessons from the desert. And in Deuteronomy 6 and 8, God had given them the kind of uh, spiritual fortitude and the words from God himself that would make it possible to face temptation. But unlike Israel who succumbed to the temptations, Jesus himself was quoting scripture which to him was more valuable in temptation than even bread itself. Fasting 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus clung to the word of God. Now if you look in this passage, what's fascinating in Matthew is that Mary and Joseph by an angel giving them notice had moved to Egypt because they had been given a warning that Herod was killing the children. And then by another angel in a dream, they came back again. So if you can imagine, Jesus is living the story of Israel, going to Egypt, leaving Egypt, following the Spirit of God like in a cloud, and then crossing the Jordan, and then of all things, taking the lessons of the desert into the promised land so that from that point forward, they would learn to trust Yahweh and Him alone.